Hello everyone, welcome to another Minecraft tutorial and today I'll be showing you how to use the tell raw command. You can have custom text in chat with colors, styles and trolling capabilities. And with that out the way, let's begin. Like always, so just give yourself a command block. There you go, so then place it down and get yourself a button. Boop. There you go, put the button on the command block without breaking it and then open it up. So in here, you're going to type in tell raw, and then who will be able to see the message. I'll just set it to at A, so everybody can see my spam. Then after at A, you're going to put in two curly brackets. Then within the curly brackets, you're going to put in two quotes. In between the quotes, you're going to type in text. After the quotes, you're going to put in a colon, then two more quotes. Then in between the quotes, you're going to type in your message. Once you're done with that, you can hit done on the command block, then click the button. As you can see, cheese gets outputted in the chat. And since I'm spamming so many lines of text, I'm going to hold in F3 and plus D to clear the chat. Now we're going to add colors to the text. So after the quotes of cheese, you're going to put in a comma and two more quotes. Then in here, you're going to type in color, then a colon, then two more quotes, and then the color of your choice. I'll put an image of all the colors you can use on the screen now. So I'm just going to choose gold, then you can hit done, and click the button. Now our cheese is made of gold. Very shiny cheese. And for custom styles, you're going to put in a comma, then two more quotes, and then the style of your choice. I'll put up all the styles that you can use on the screen right now. So I'm going to do bold, then after the quotes, colon, two quotes, then true. So now, our text is bold. Just to clarify, it's not bold, it's bold, okay? And you can also add more than one style. So I've added obfuscated. Yeah, that just ruins it. Okay, that makes more sense. Another interesting thing about this is if you put in a backslash in, then whatever you put after the backslash in will create a new line. But you can also have multicolored text. So you're going to put in a square bracket on one side and a square bracket on the other side of the NBT. Then you can put a comma after the curly bracket and then just type in the same stuff again. Then you can add in your color and a style. So now if we hit done, we get this mess. But as you can see, we've only told <laughs> to be blue and be underlined. But we didn't tell we to be strike through or bold. That's because we is inheriting the code from the previous statements. So since we want we, okay I'll stop now. And since we don't want it to be bold, we're gonna type in bold and just simply make it output false. And as you can see, it isn't bold anymore. So we'll do the same with strike through, much better. And before it, I'm just going to put in a backslash in to create a new line, just to make it look cleaner at least. So you can have text that's multicolored and stylized, but you can also make the text interactable. So back in the command block where it is, you're gonna put in a comma right at the end, then two more quotes, then click event with a capital E. <laughs> then you're gonna put in a colon, then two curly brackets. Then inside the curly brackets, you're gonna put in two quotes, then action, colon, two more quotes, run, underscore, command. Then after that, you're gonna put in a comma, two more quotes, then value, then a colon, two quotes, then the command of your choice. So we can do something like slash summon pig. So now we can hit done, press the button. So if we click it, it will summon a pig. Or we can summon a cow or the wither. I should have not done that. I should have not done that. Get officially yeeted. So everything between the quotes can be any Minecraft command, even another tell raw command. But if you really want to do commands within commands, you're going to have to put backslashes between every quote. So here's our tell raw command within our tell raw command. And as you can see, all the text is red, which means it's not working. So we're simply just going to put in a backslash before every quote. So now it should work. So since it's a click event, if I click this, it's going to output yet. So I'm just going to leave this to summon a pig. So yeah, you can summon withers with this. Don't try this at home. But you can also have text hover over the other text. You'll see what I mean. 
So after our click event, I'm just going to put in a comma, then two more quotes. Then I'm going to type in hover event with a capital E. Then you're going to put in a colon, then two more curly brackets. Then in here, you're going to type in action with two quotes on the sides, colon, two more quotes, then show underscore text. Then just output a value, and then here we are. But you don't need these quotes, so I'm just going to put in two curly brackets again. Then I'm going to add in two more quotes, text, and the same stuff from before. So now if we hit done, then we can press the button and hover our text over this text. So now we have we on top of we, and you can spawn pigs. And this one can also have custom colors and styles, because why not? And if you put two square brackets at the sides of the curly brackets, you can even have multicolored text. And to make it look cleaner, I'm going to put a backslash in before the we. And our text will have two rows. And as you can see, it's also inheriting code from the last line. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. Um, wait. Anyway, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. And I'll see you again in the next tutorial. Also like and subscribe, please.